Measuring angles in standard position. Question 5. Determine any four co-terminal angles for the principal angle of 110 degrees. Okay. Now, I hope you remember what are co-terminal angles. Co-terminal angles are angles which have exactly same initial arm position and the terminal arm position, right? So, if it is angle of 110 degrees, we say, well, this is our initial arm and the terminal arm should be in quadrant 2, right? Because this is 90 degrees, it's more than 90 degrees. So, let's make this as 110 degrees, okay? So, this is my initial arm along the x-axis and the terminal arm is in quadrant 2. So, that's our quadrant 2, right? Now we have to find the co-terminal angles for the given principal angle and that is the principal angle, right? So the principal angle is 110 degrees. Now how can you find co-terminal angles for this? So one of the co-terminal angles could be you can go like this and one round. Do you see that? So it is like 360 plus 110. Then again you can go around like that and make another so another co-terminal angle for the same angle could be you can go like this one round two round and then come back to this position correct so that is how you can find two co-terminal angles that is going anti-clockwise right the other co-terminal angles which you can find you can go in one direction also you can also go like this right that is also a co-terminal angle, but with negative sign, okay? And then you can go like this, one full round and then like that, right? So that gives you different co-terminal angles for the given principal angle, right? So you can actually find infinite number of co-terminal angles. Co-terminal because initial and final arms are same for the two angles, right? Therefore, let's write the co-terminal angle theta as equal to 110 degrees plus n times 360 degrees, right? So that is the best way of writing generally. And then what you can do is you can plug n as plus and minus 1, plus and minus 2 to get different answers, right? So let's do that. So if n is 1, so we get 360, so well, let's do plus side first. So we get 110 plus 360 which is giving us 470 degrees and then again we can add 360 and we get 830 degrees and we can take away 360 by placing n as minus 1 so we'll do 100, 110 minus 360 okay in that case we get minus 250 degrees let me write here minus 250 degrees and further another circle that means which will go clockwise and that will give us another co-terminal angle with minus 610 degrees so these are our four co-terminal angles for the principal angle of 110 degrees I hope you understand and appreciate the method it is going from initial arm to diff do the terminal arm in different ways okay so that is what it is and as you can see Co-terminal angles can be both positive and negative, plus co-terminal angles have infinite number of possibilities, whereas principal angle is always between 0 to 360 degrees and is always positive. Thank you.